let's talk about how to select the best laptop computer for you. The number one factor in selecting the right computer for you is what do you plan to do with your laptop? There are three basic classes of laptops available. There's ultralights, general purpose, and desktop replacement. An ultralight is good for the frequent traveler, someone whose lightweight and processing power is important and they're willing to pay a price for the lightweight. A general purpose computer is good for most people for most applications. For example, word processing, photo and video editing, internet applications, and email. Desktop replacements are really more for the special market of engineering or compute intensive applications. The computer is portable, but it's generally too heavy for true mobility. If you feel this is the class you need, you should check the computer requirements for the specialized software you plan to use and then buy a laptop that will meet these requirements. Step 1 is to determine your needs. Step 2 is to determine your price range. And step 3 is to find a laptop that meets steps 1 and 2. An important thing to remember is the laptop you buy today is going to be the laptop you have tomorrow. In other words, you're not likely going to upgrade it. In most cases, upgrading a laptop is difficult. And a year or two from now, a new laptop will cost you about the same as an upgrade. It might even cost you less to buy a whole new computer. In general, you can't upgrade the processor or video card, and even replacing the disk drive can be difficult. If slots are available, upgrading the RAM is pretty easy in most cases. Ultralights typically use solid-state disks instead of the traditional hard drive, which you can't replace or upgrade. But solid-state disks are expensive, so you will get a lot less hard disk capacity with a solid-state disk than with traditional hard drives. My list of best-rated laptops available at LaptopsClub.com is based on the most important features most people need in a laptop. The primary features you need to consider include how much memory you will have. Generally, you want at least 2 gigabytes, and 4 gigabytes is much better. What is your hard disk capacity? At least 120 gigabytes is required. 300 gigabytes is much better. The amount of RAM that you have helps determine how good of a performance your computer will provide, and the hard disk capacity allows you to store all those pictures, photos, images, and videos, and whatnot. So if you're going to do a lot of that, then a larger disk drive capacity is important. The screen size generally ranges from 10 to 17 inches measured on the diagonal, and if you need larger print or if you need lots of windows on the screen, you may want to lean towards the larger screen size. The number of USB ports is also important. You will need at least two, and four is much better. The more ports you have, the more simultaneous things you can do, such as charging up your MP3 or smartphone devices through the USB port, hooking up an external mouse, hooking up an external keyboard, or even an external disk drive. And of course, customer satisfaction, battery life, and whether you have a rewritable DVD or CD drive is also important. Pretty much all computers are made in the same factories in China, and most customer support has been outsourced to India. So the specific brand is not so important anymore. If you're especially concerned about customer support, however, you may want to consider getting an extended warranty. Special features to consider. If you have special performance concerns, here are a few more factors you should consider. The hard disk speed. Generally, you want it to be 7200 revolutions per minute or faster. Solid state disks are also fast, but as I mentioned before, they are expensive. HDMI ports for HDTV connection and playback, and surround sound speakers for your entertainment. If you travel frequently, you'll want to consider things such as the battery life, the design durability. Generally, you want to get metal or carbon fiber chassis rather than the typical ABS plastic. Built-in security features such as biometrics for reading eye prints or fingerprints and anti-theft software and devices. USB pass-through charging. This is where you can do things such as plug your smartphone into the USB port of your laptop and charge it up even though the laptop is not turned on and a built-in 3G or 4G mobile broadband modems which will let you use your laptop as a Wi-Fi hotspot for your cell phones rather than using up your monthly data bandwidth for your cell phone carrier. For serious gamers and engineering applications, you may want to consider multi-core processors, such as quad, eight, or 16 cores, and you may want to get a high video RAM video card. Choosing the right laptop computer for you is much easier today than it used to be. Just figure out what you plan to do with your laptop and determine your price range. And if you're like most users, you can simply find a laptop in your price range with the RAM, the hard disk capacity, and other features discussed in this video. Another great option is to visit LaptopsClub.com and select a model from our best rated laptops list for your price range. We generally publish a new list three times per year, once in the spring, once in the fall, and at Christmas time. So stop on by and check out LaptopsClub.com.